guys i just saw avatar the way of water and i have to admit what a movie honestly what a movie now today i want to talk about the movie and i know i'm not a director i know i'm not like a movie critique i know i don't do any movie reviews on the channel typically but today i just really want to give you guys a perspective or maybe just you know lighten a little bit about the movie talk about everything that i felt throughout the movie and i talk about the experience really because this movie is not just you know, it's not, just, it's not just a simple runtime. You get there and you watch it. It's a whole experience. And I got to be honest with you guys. If you haven't seen it already, please go and watch it. Do yourself a favor and go watch the movie. It is absolutely spectacular. It's one of a kind. You have to go watch it. But if you have watched the movie, stick around for this video because I'm going to give you guys a bit of a insight. I'm going to give you guys what I think about the movie. And we're going to talk about a little bit of all the good stuff in the movie, such as characters, movie, storytelling, CGI beautiful beautiful visual images landscapes all that great stuff we're going to cover it a little bit in this video and naturally this is not really a in-depth critique video this is more of a as i'm talking about this is getting me really really excited because i just i saw the movie like late yesterday night and it was absolutely amazing i came home and i was like you know what i need to make a video on this So after watching Avatar The Way of Water, there is no other way for me to talk about anything in this video other than how it made me feel throughout the whole movie. Guys, I have to admit, this is just one of those movies that it's not simply you sit down, you watch, there's a story and then there's an end and that's it. It's an experience before anything. I needed to share this with you guys. I, I know I'm not a movie critique and I know I don't typically review movies on the channel, nor do I ever really have the drive to do this kind of video but avatar the way of water what a beautiful movie and honestly it just blows anything out of the water no pun intended like seriously beautiful beautiful movie now this leads me to how it made me feel throughout the movie first things first avatar the way of water the whole avatar universe takes place in this land this beautiful beautiful land called pandora pandora is a fictional world and obviously all the characters in avatar are also fictional but not once did I feel like I didn't belong. So as this, from the second I sat down in the theaters and I started watching the movie, I instantly felt like I was part of that universe. I instantly felt like everything was real. I instantly felt like I was part of the Navis. And actually, funny enough, throughout the whole movie, a lot of times I was asking myself, where do I sign up? Where do I sign up? Where can I become a Navi? I really want to be part of this universe. I think one of the main concerns I had before I get into all the, all the other topics that I want to cover for this video, one of the main concerns I had for the movie was the runtime. So naturally, when I booked my tickets, I saw the runtime and it says three hours and 12 minutes. To be fair, most blockbuster movies are usually within an hour and a half or two hours and like uh, two hours and a half. That's kind of the medium, the range for movies. But this one is three hours and 12 minutes. And let me just say, guys, three hours and 12 minutes, honestly, for me, just wasn't enough. I couldn't get enough of this world. I couldn't get enough of Avatar. It's absolutely amazing. It was so good just getting back into this world and seeing all these new characters. And actually, that's going to lead me to my next point, character development. But before I jump right into that, I want to wrap up on how it made me feel. The movie is just absolutely a masterpiece of its own. Everything ties in together. So one thing I do recommend before you do watch the movie is I had the bright idea to watch a recap video on YouTube before I went to go watch this second movie the sequel of the previous one essentially the story takes off where the last the last movie ended so essentially in the first movie really quickly Jake Sullivan the main character is a um, paraplegic soldier and he's sent on a mission into this Navi body so an avatar and that's how we kind of pretty much get our first real look at you know the avatar world and how the Navis live and forest and all that and so basically he is a spy and he's supposed to get information in order for the humans to collect some resources on Pandora. Now this story takes off exactly over there. We are met with Jake Sullivan. Now I'm not going to spoil any of the main components of the movie. So I'm definitely going to give you guys a very, very brief rundown of kind of how the story goes. I'm not really not going to mention any important stuff. I'm going to leave all of that 
for you guys to experience it in theaters because there is no other way for you guys to experience it other than in theaters. Story takes off, Jake Sullivan has his family now. He is with Neytiri and they have four kids. Naturally, these four kids are gonna be very important throughout the story, um, which also leads me to character development. I think in this movie, truly guys, this is probably one of the most well approached topics for me in this movie. It was absolutely amazing seeing this character development for every, every single one of these new characters. I just, it was honestly so refreshing and I, I just, I really enjoyed the whole, there's a lot of times and a lot of scenes where you really see like each individual character going through its, through his arc and you'll see a lot of development throughout these characters that just really gives you this personal feeling and it makes you attached with these characters and, and they feel so real despite them being, you know, blue and taller and avatars and in this whole like parallel universe, never do you feel like you're not part of that world. Never do you feel like it's all, you know, on computer. It's honestly just amazing. It's a whole experience. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you have to go watch it. But I really do think that character development is one of the pillars for this movie. It's absolutely amazing. And it's one of the things that holds the whole movie together. And it gives it that, that extra oomph and it gives it such life and it's so beautiful. So now ultimately after talking about character development and after talking about a little bit of the sequel, this brings up another really, really question. How does this movie live up to the first one? I think a lot of people were worried about a second Avatar also because the first one came out all the way back in 2009. So it's been over a decade since we had a sequel to this movie. And yet people were wondering, is Avatar 2 gonna live up to the expectations? Is Avatar 2 gonna deliver? Is it gonna be as good as the first one? So naturally we had all these questions and I think all those questions were you know, valid and uh, people had reason to be asking themselves that, but truly Avatar 2 The Way of Water is a beautiful sequel. It is absolutely amazing. And I think James Cameron as a director has done an absolutely amazing job. Now, naturally it was almost guaranteed that we were gonna get a really good movie because James Cameron is one of those directors that is just unique. He's just pretty much in his own lane. I don't think there's a very, very small amount of directors out there that fit in that category, in that little niche of just masterminds just geniuses at what they do and obviously if you look at the catalog of james cameron you have movies like terminator aliens the abyss which again the abyss is another one of those underwater movies that challenges underwater filming when you have movies like that and then you put all of that craftsmanship and all that mastermind into a beautiful project such as avatar it is very hard to mess up but then again a lot of people are also very critical about stuff so and i know i've been kind of just giving this movie its flowers throughout the whole video but guys when something is good it's good and you can't deny that so i really gotta sit here and be like wow this movie is amazing again one thing i do want to touch up on before we do wrap up this video because it's not a full in-depth review this is just mostly how i feel about the movie with a couple of topics here and there i want to touch up on the whole world of pandora and how it was created on computer now, naturally, most of this movie is also CGI, but there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of shots and there's a lot of moments where you think to yourself, is it really CGI? Is this stuff actually real? Or, you know, you really question yourself because it's done so well and the expression on the characters is so accurate and it, it's so lively and you feel like you're in the story. But then again, a lot of it is done on computer. So, you know, typically when I watch a movie, I'll always look at how they make the movie. So a lot of times I was like, that's like a third of the process when I'm watching a movie. I'm looking at the visuals, I'm looking at the movie. A lot of times I'm asking myself, okay, well, how did they make this special effect? Or how did they make that certain scene? Or how did they construct the background for that certain scene, etc., etc." But in this movie, never was there a second where I was like, hmm, how did they make this movie? I'm just completely mind blown by the beauty of it and just the whole submerge effect that it has on you you know no pun intended again because most of the movie is underwater but it's just one of those movies that just does an amazing job at combining beautiful beautiful storytelling amazing character development cgi not only that you're putting all of that together with some wonderful actors and a great production team it just gives you one of those masterpieces to wrap up this video, I really want to know, what do you guys think about this movie? Now, naturally, if you like the movie, let me know. If you haven't seen it already, then what are you still doing here? Please do yourself a favor and go watch this movie because it is, it's just one of those movies that you must watch. And I will definitely catch you soon. I'm working on more stuff. I'm obviously trying to keep you guys posted as much as I can. But yeah, Avatar, The Way of Water, absolute masterpiece. Once again, go see it if you haven't. 
And when you do, come back to this video and we'll chat in the comments.